Everyone, well, I forgot on the previous art one. I forgot to add the little hands and the little cheeks and this part. So I forgot to add this on the last one. And now the last and final pumpkin. So you better pay attention very goodly because my first pumpkin like this one wasn't that good as you know. So I'm drawing what it's supposed to look like because I did this one in class. So this is what it's supposed to look like. It's very easy, as you can see, but we're gonna do the top a little differently. So let's start. So first, move that paper out of the way. First, add an oval in the front of the paper. I'll give you some time to do that. Next, I let you have some time as you can see. I'd like two circles right there. I'll give you some time to do that and I will hold it up so you can copy mine. Now, as you copy mine, I think that's enough time. This part is my favorite part. So there's one, two, three, four, five, five rectangles or something, I don't know. Okay, that must be done with. Now, the stem. Don't worry, we're not done. That's the stem. Next. Is the bumps in the back. It looks 3D like it's like inside. Next is the... That is the last pumpkin. Finally um, done with everything. But one thing that I messed up on the first pumpkin that we did. This pumpkin, remember this buddy? We forgot to add the 3D parts. You know how to make it 3D? I'm gonna sh show you. Like, it looks like, like the inside. Like that, what it looks like. So you just add the things that you can touch inside. That's the rest of the series of drawing pumpkins. Next one is drawing stitch. One stitch. Or like, not stitch. I will think about stitch. Or, hmm, let's see here. Stitch or a Halloween dog or a, no Halloween dog or a Halloween cat say it in one of the art comments a Halloween cat or a Halloween dog say it in the comments bye guys don't forget to like and subscribe